Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Fine. Thank you for joining me here live on KKVI FM Radio on the Valder BB Show. I want my audience to know that Jim Berhini is the director of the Bronx Zoo, and he's here to talk about animal planets, taking audiences behind the scenes to highlight the importance of wildlife and conservation in the breakthrough new series, The Zoo. Jim, what are we going to learn about watching the zoo? Um, I think you're going to learn a lot about how zoos and aquariums have evolved and people not, may not be aware of uh, what really goes on every day behind the scenes in a, in a modern zoo and aquarium and that's why we wanted to do it. We wanted to give Animal Planet kind of unprecedented access when we told this story to invite them uh, behind the scenes so people could see all the stuff that goes on every day uh, behind the scenes at the Bronx Zoo. We wanted people to come in see for themselves, meet the animals, meet the people who take care of the animals, see all the different talents and skills they bring to delivering on our mission of providing the best care for our animals and relating the animals and the exhibits we have to the saving of species in the wild. So the zoo is, is, is it changing with the times? And let me explain a little what I mean. Uh, we've seen uh, the Ringling Brothers Circus, it had to change, uh, it even stopped. We've seen uh, uh, water aquatic parks, they've had to change because of conservation. So are we seeing the zoo change before our eyes? Well, I think, you know, I think zoos have been changing, but people aren't aware of it or haven't taken notice, you know. The best zoos now, they know it's not enough just to exhibit animals for people to look at that. We have to do it for a higher purpose, and that higher purpose has to be the conservation of species in the wild. So what we really need to do is relate the animals we keep, the exhibits that we, that we have for people to visit. We have to tell that story there. We have to tell a story of the conservation challenges these animals are facing in the wild inform people and then give them options, ways that they can help join the mission to save species. Okay, so I haven't been to the Bronx Zoo maybe since I was like seven or eight years old. So if I would go back now, yes. what, what would amaze me, what would astound me as an adult? Um, I think a lot of the exhibits have changed, have, have changed probably since you remember it. We have, we have exhibits that don't really exhibit single species of animals, they exhibit slices of habitat or environment. So for instance, now I'm in Jungle World, which is a slice of an Asian rainforest, you know, and that opened in 1985. So you're talking about, you know, are zoos evolving now? Zoos started evolving 30, 30 years ago and changing the way we do, getting more involved in conservation. The Bronx Zoo is a member of the uh, Association of Zoos and Aquariums. We have over 230 members. Last year, uh, that organization put more than $186 million towards the conservation of species in the field, in the wild. People don't know that. That's a huge amount of money um, that these organizations have put together in an effort to try to protect the environment, the places where these animals live, and protect the species themselves. So I think at the zoo that you're at, the Bronx Zoo in New York, you've got about maybe 6,000 uh, animals but you got about 500 people just dedicated to take care of their well-being, correct? Yeah, I think yeah, that's right. That's just the animal care staff, and we only have 6,000 animals if we don't count all the insects and fish. If you count them, we have a lot more. But I, th <laughs> but I think what people are going to really like when they tune into this show is they're going to really be amazed at the relationship that our animal care staff have with the animals. 
uh, they're going to see that relationship and that bond. You know, and it's it's really hard to describe it, but when we invite you in and you get to see it in 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 kind of this really kind of open, honest fashion, I think people will come away with a different feeling for zoos and aquariums in the 21st century. My final question will come from Facebook for you, and the okay. question is: What correlation does the zoo have to our survival as humans? Ooh, good question. Uh, that's that's an easy one. I mean, zoos and aquariums are all about preserving preserving nature, preserving biodiversity. The Earth is an intact ecosystem. I mean, the more diversity we have, the more land that we have protected, the better the quality of life for all of us. As as land disappears and animal species disappears, it's an indicator for what's going to happen to to humans down the road. You know, you often hear that say, well, animal, uh, humans are going to destroy the, the earth. Humans are not going to destroy the earth. That's typical of our arrogance about ourselves. We will never destroy the earth. What we will do is destroy our ability to live on the earth. Other species will evolve after we go. The earth will continue. It's, 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 it's too great a force, but it's, it shows you even at the end how arrogant people are about their own role. What we will do is destroy our ability, our quality of life. And if we don't start protecting nature and the animals and the species that are part of that ecosystem, frankly, we're going to be screwed. Jim Brahini, that's a great statement and a way to wrap up. And when do you want us to watch your new show? I, I'm delighted. We want you to tune into Animal Planet this Saturday, February 18th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and hopefully you'll uh, get everything that I've been talking about. I think we will, and I think my audience is going to be delighted. Jim Brahini, director of the Bronx Zoo, I thank you so very much for being my guest on the Valderibi Show. Thanks for having me. <laughs>